Trillions of microbes ready to invade our bodies lurk in the air, the water, the foods we eat, and on the objects we touch. Nevertheless, most of us are healthy most of the time and unaware of the constant battle between body and microbe. Even when infections occur, we almost always fend them off quickly. Our usual state of good health is due to three lines of defense. External barriers that keep microbes out of the body, non-specific internal defenses that combat all invading microbes, and our immune system, which assaults specific microbes. The body's first defense against microbes are the skin and the mucous membranes of the digestive and respiratory tracts. The dry, dead cells, filled with hard proteins that cover the outer surface of the skin, prevent most microbes landing on the skin from obtaining needed water and nutrients, while acids and natural antibiotics secreted by the sweat and sebaceous glands actively inhibit the growth of bacteria and fungi on the skin. The membranes of the digestive and respiratory tracts are protected by mucus, which contains antibacterial enzymes that destroy the cell walls of bacteria and physically traps microbes that enter the body through the nose or mouth. Cilia on the membranes sweep up the mucus, microbes and all, until it is either coughed up, sneezed or swallowed. Swallowed microbes enter the stomach, where they encounter a combination of extreme acidity and protein digesting enzymes that kills many microbes. Farther along the digestive tract, bacteria harmless to humans secrete substances deadly to other invading bacteria or fungi. Though these defenses are good, the warm, moist mucous membranes are more vulnerable to invasion than the skin. Disease organisms that enter the body through the skin or mucous membranes run into three nonspecific internal defenses standing armies of phagocytic and natural killer cells, the inflammatory response, and fever.